In this video, I am going to talk about five must-have skills for every student. I am not targeting any specific stream like computer science students know or like B.Tech students know. These are for every students. You should have these skills, at least these skills, five skills. Or I would rather say those five skills you should develop you during your college time. Because I know during your college you have a lot of time, free time actually I would say. Because you bunk classes, I know very well, you do parties, you go for outings and it's not like that you study regularly throughout the semester. I know you follow that last night fight uh, strategy for exams, right? But yeah, you have free time, but the t this time is very precious time. So you have to utilize this free time. Because every time I say don't waste your time, invest your time. Because time is money, time is very precious. And the free time you are getting at this time during your college days, you will not get this time, this, this kind of free time after the college is over. During maybe you get the job or after the college, you will not get this much free time definitely. So please utilize this time. At least develop these five skills that I'll discuss in this video. And these skills uh, would not uh, only help you uh, in getting a job or during your job, but in life also. These are very helpful, right? But before that, just want to tell you one thing, those who are preparing for CSIR a net exam, they can attend free live classes on an academy because these uh, classes are for CSIR net 2021 aspirants and here the top educators are going to teach you. So you can uh, check out here the name of the educator, the topic they'll discuss, the date and the time at what this class is going to be conducted and these are free classes. And if you like their free classes, then you can also go for the paid subscription for CSIR net 2021. And if you will use the code CSIR net, then you will get 10% discount on your subscription. The detail is given over here. So if you are planning to appear for CSIR net June 2021, it's better to start your preparation early. And they'll also discuss top 100 gate quantitative aptitude questions. And in the series of free classes, one of their top educator is going to discuss the top quantitative aptitude questions uh, asked in gate examination and these classes would be both in Hindi and English and notes would also be provided to you and notes would be uh, in English and these classes would be for CSIR net as well as for gate 2021 gate life sciences 2021 because we have one paper uh, in gate uh, that code is excel that is for life sciences and in this series they'll discuss metabolism in uh, life sciences all the important topics will be discussed in detail and that would be helpful for the aspirants preparing for gate excel 2021 and csir net 2021 so if you are interested you can go for it all the details and the links all the three links i'll give you in the description box of this video you can go and check out so now let us discuss the skills you should develop your college time. The very first is, I would say public speaking. And in this also I'll include uh, English speaking. Or I would say you should work on your communication skills. See, it's very important to develop these skills, pub at least public speaking skills. You have to get rid of your public speaking phobia, that stage phobia, if you have. And it is a great time. You will not get time after the college. If you are, maybe many students are like, you know, very shy in nature, they hesitate, they think that they think that others will laugh if you speak or if you speak in English because your English is not uh, so fluent. That is why I have uh, combined these two points like public speaking and English speaking. If your spoken English is good, definitely you will be, you will feel much confident, you will feel more confident, you will feel more confident in speaking in public. And see, these skills will be required when you are going to sit for campus placement or when you are going to, uh, you know, go for uh, off campus placement or to get a job. These skills are very important. And obviously, these skills are like public speaking is also important in later in your life also. It's not just for the job purpose, right? So, and it's not like that it is just a crash course. You can do 10 uh, days and 15 days course and your communication skills, your public speaking speak, uh, skills and your English is so fluent. No, it takes time. It takes time to develop these communication skills. It takes time to get rid of your uh, stage phobia, that public speaking phobia. It takes time to be fluent in English, spoken English. So it takes time as well as it takes practice. That and you have time now during your college years, right? So please work on these skills. What you can do, you can just give some presentations in your class. You can host any event. You can uh, give a speech on any uh, 
function i know many students do what if today it's your turn suppose for uh, to give presentation in your class then you bunk that class on that day right but it's your biggest mistake you are doing it's okay if students will laugh and everybody is like you see it is it is the right time to get rid of your fear because later you will not get time and it would be really problematic for you in your job so better to develop these skills during your college time second thing is management skills see please don't think that management skills are only for mba this is limited for mba students no these are also required for you also every student for everyone management skills are required it's not like that it is required only to get a job or during your job but it is also very necessary in your life also obviously in your life also you have to manage many things so better to learn management skills in your college time also only so what you can do there are many events in colleges many festival many fest and every uh, thing so you can do what you can just be volunteer you can manage any event or you can host anything you can manage any exhibition or these kind of things see many activities are there in colleges so you can just manage in a single activity so you will get some experience how to manage things what kind of problems you you can face during this uh, during uh, the, that management so you will learn something so management skills are also required and you have to develop these in your college days only because it's a great time next is make a habit to maintain a to do list maybe you are thinking uh, we don't need to maintain a to do list because we remember everything uh, what we have to do today but see sometimes you forget maybe if you have to uh, submit any assignment or maybe uh, if we take example during uh, of your study related then and if you have to submit any synopsis of any project or anything and you forgot and on the same day or maybe one day before you remember like oh i have to do uh, this also and maybe at that at last moment you don't get time to do that thing so better to maintain a to do list just what you need to do today and once you complete those tasks you can just tick yeah i have done this thing so it's like you will be habitual of organizing everything so that would be good see because yeah if you are in college if you forgot something it's okay if you suppose forgot to uh, submit any assignment or quiz or any synopsis of project or anything it's okay for this time only but when you will uh, get into that job then you will have to get serious things are things will get serious at that time because they are paying for you for the work and if you forgot something if the deadline you have to submit some work and the deadline is today and you forgot that work to do then it's it is going to harm you it is going to harm your career maybe they can fire you or if they'll not fire you then definitely it is going to harm you uh, during your promotion these kind of things so better to make a habit during your college time only to maintain a to do list so that you remember everything yeah i have to do this uh, this 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 today and next is it is related to this to do list next is try to complete your task immediately or get it early get it done early don't think yeah i have much time tomorrow i'll do this or tomorrow you will think tomorrow i'll do this and your tomorrow will never come right so suppose you have to submit any assignment and you have time today because see suppose assignment date is after 10 days and obviously you have time during your college days you have free time a lot of free time so do it immediately or try to complete that assignment that thing as early as possible do not wait for the deadline it is really going to help help you in your job because there you will have to work under pressure and if at that time you will do kal kar lenge kal kar lenge project ki deadline hai koi baat nahi 10 din baad hai kal kar lenge at that time once the deadline will come nearer you will feel more pressure and you will not able to give your 100% so better to get things early if you have time do not avoid things like tomorrow i'll do tomorrow i will do right next is and i think you should develop a hobby or anything uh, which removes uh, stress or by doing that thing you will feel fresh or it will make you physically active so you can play any game like or uh, you can uh, sing a song you can dance you can cook anything which is of your interest like maybe playing games boys prefer playing uh, cricket or playing uh, i would not say playing video games because here i just want to focus on the thing which includes some physical activity or you can do 
exercise because this thing also very important your health is also very important so you should take care of uh, that also you should make a habit of doing some physical activity at least maybe for 15 minutes or 30 minutes from your college uh, time only because see it is the time where you don't care about your health i know everybody because of maybe sleeping habits or eating habits anything but after some time maybe after three years five years seven years you will realize that i should take care of my health and at that time it would be very you know tough for you to make a habit of doing exercise or anything so better to make a habit of doing some exercise some physical activity maybe some playing playing some game which uh, help which you know requires some physical activity during your college time only so please don't put your health aside take care of yourself right so these are in my opinion some common or some must have habits for everyone for every student and you should develop these habits during your college time right so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care